sewing friends welcome to my sewing room my name is Beth and it's nice to be with you today today I'm sharing about a quilt I made a long time ago for my daughter an I spy quilt I used five inch squares and when I quilted the quilt I only quilted in the white squares I left the I spy squares alone I quilted along the outside I thought I'd talk about those white squares and how simple it was to quilt a little flower just like a doodle on each of these white squares so I started a new project just to share with you how I went about quilting this quilt so let's get started I thought in order to demonstrate exactly what I did on this quilt I would kind of need to start over again and I decided to make a table runner with some white squares that I could quilt very similar to the way that I quilted that old quilt I made for my daughter. So I chose four or five prints here that first I pressed that I thought the greens and the blues kind of matched a little bit. The styles are very different but this is patchwork and I'm um, not too worried about things matching a lot. So this is going to be a table runner and I just pressed all my scraps and I will be cutting rather than five inch squares like I did for my daughter's I spy quilt I'm going to cut these squares into four inch squares I needed 11 of the fun prints and 10 white squares to make the table runner I'll be making I'm going to put squares together in rows of three and I will also be adding a border around this table runner. So first I'm just going to start by joining three squares across and alternating the fun prints. After getting it all together, I'm adding a two and a half inch border all the way around and my table runner was 21 and a half inches long. So I cut a strip 21 and a half inches long and I added a strip to each side. I also added a strip to each end and I'm sorry I didn't measure that but I just put a strip of fabric on the end and cut off the excess. Table runners are just like quilts in miniature. So I need to make a quilt sandwich, I have a piece of batting, I have some backing and I'm using 505 spray to get all three layers nice and smoothed out and they will kind of stick together so I can quilt my table runner. Now that I have it all together I'm going to put my feed dogs down and I'm going to switch out my regular um, foot there with a free motion foot, a quilting foot, I, it has different names but this is the one that goes with my machine. I'll be starting right in the middle of a square and I'll be doodling. I'm sure that most people have doodled flowers before. Two petals going out and then two petals going out the other way to the corners. I'm just aiming for the corners of the square and now I have four little empty 
areas between and I will go swirl around in those empty areas four more petals that are just a little bit shorter but I'm just aiming for the seam and I'm done with one flower and I'll just move to the next white square and I'll do the same thing and I'll move all around my table runner and before you know it I'll be done when I am done quilting all of my flowers I will go to the border and just do some squiggly lines and then I'll add Binding. I do have videos on how to add binding. I'm not going to complete this table runner in this video, but I hope you get the idea how easy it is to add a simple flower to a quilt just doodling with your machine. And if you're not feeling comfortable, get a piece of paper and pencil and do a little bit of practice with that before you start. Thank you for joining me today. It's always nice to sew with friends and I hope that you will be encouraged to do quilting on your quilts and just realize how easy it is. I'll see you next time.